We're here to talk about the importance of preventing hepatitis B in people with type 2 diabetes. And today at the ADA, we presented data from our largest trial on an investigational hepatitis B vaccine that we just completed the trial, and we presented our immunogenicity and safety. The CDC actually has looked at that, and they uh, determined through their studies that people with type 2 diabetes are twice as likely to get hepatitis B. And they, it's, it's mostly exposure, is that folks with type, uh, type 2 diabetes are, have a lot of exposure to medical equipment, and obviously blood, you know, blood sticks, for example. And that equipment can be invisibly uh, contaminated. And the hepatitis B virus is remarkably stable, uh, environmentally stable, and it's 100 times more infectious than HIV. Certainly, if they develop hepatitis, then they, you know, that they, they they would need to have uh, specialist care, of course, to deal with. It. Particularly, if they develop acute hepatitis or any of the uh, sequelae of hepatitis B infection, which unfortunately aren't very, you know, they're cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma, cancer. So obviously, they would require treatment. The most important thing is to prevent it, by far. So the goal of research is we evaluated this investigational hepatitis B vaccine called Heplasav. And the goal was there was to determine the um, immunogenicity and safety in a population of type, the people with type 2 diabetes. For the immunogenicity results, we showed that people uh, in a uh, study, we showed that the seroprotection rate for people who received Heplasav was 90% versus 65.1% for the active comparator, which was an existing hepatitis B vaccine, Indrix B. That difference of 24.9% was statistically significant. And then on the safety side, we studied uh, safety, of course, uh, in over 8,000 trial participants. And the rates of adverse events, serious adverse events, and deaths were similar between the two uh, vaccine arms. Any um, uh, adverse events that were considered to be immune related were evaluated by an independent and blinded safety evaluation and adjudication committee or SEAC, tough acronym, uh, and they found that none of those events were related to vaccination. I think uh, one of the big advantages of Heplasab B, I, I suppose, is that because of this uh, adjuvant that we're using, we have a special toll-like receptor 9 agonist as an adjuvant in the vaccine. We use the standard surface antigen plus this adjuvant. This allows the, um, the vaccine to be administered in two doses over one month. Existing vaccines are three doses over six months. And we know that uh, people have a difficult time getting all three doses. In fact, the CDC's vaccine safety data link study showed that only 54% of people who uh, start the three-dose regimen complete it within a year. The hepatitis B is specifically for hepatitis B prevention in, in, in adults. Not, it will be more than just, uh, the, the, more than just uh, people with diabetes, but this is a diabetes meeting and that was the focus of today. One of the reasons is that it, the um, hepatitis B remains a, a public, an important public health problem and challenge. Uh, there's about 20,000 infections every year. And we do immunize children and have been doing that regularly since 1991. But there still is this, this you know, and a significant number of cases every year, and it's and it is preventable. Well, the indication that we're pursuing is for all adults 18 and above, and in the we and as I mentioned, we do have this data in people with type 2 diabetes, which is important because of the increased risk that these people have, and uh, current uh, rates of coverage for people with type 2 diabetes for hepatitis B is pretty low, it's only 23 percent. Well, according to our data, no, uh, not to this vaccine. Uh, the uh, response rates it, it appears to be similar, or very similar to what we see in uh, a population of the, who, uh, people who don't have diabetes. We have filed an application, a biologics license application with the Food and Drug Administration, and we have a uh, PDUFA date of 15 December uh, this year. 
I think the most important thing is it gives physicians like myself who deal with people with type 2 diabetes another option to help prevent hepatitis B. Just the importance of people getting immunized and, and protecting themselves. It's a vaccine preventable disease and I've, I've dealt with a lot of people with uh, type 2 diabetes and, and other diseases and if we can prevent a disease with a vaccine that's a really good thing. I think the most important thing is to listen to those people and people's concerns carefully and then present them with the data as we understand it. And they can make their own decisions, but I think they should understand the data and the opportunity to prevent disease is really important.